But speaking of Atleti, Antoine Griezmann came on in the last half hour for the fourth <laughs> consecutive game. He hasn't started a game yet. Nope. He always comes in minute 60, 61, 62, 64. Some folks don't believe this is a coincidence, Jules. No, because it's not. Uh, <laughs> this is the reality, which I'll get to the reality after, but just to explain it again. Uh, he's on loan still from Barcelona for the second season in a row to Atleti. If he plays more than... 50% of the matches this season, then Atletico will automatically have to trigger the option to buy him for 40 million euros. They don't want to spend 40 million euros on him. They said they don't have that money. So they will make sure that he plays less than 50% of the minutes so they don't have to pay the 40 million buyout clause, if you want. Now to my point that this is the reality. And I don't think you, you might remember a case where we had like this. We had cases towards the end of the season of if, if a player played 17 or 18 or 19 matches, then you'll have to buy him. So right. he was froze out for those last few games. But I never saw a player where you had to control his minutes from the first day of the season until the last because you don't want to buy him at the end of the season. This is, this is dreadful for Griezmann. It's dreadful for France and for Deschamps to have one of his key players and one of the best players in the world. Well, he's going to be well rested. So what are you complaining about? He's but, still training. He's still playing a little bit. But he'd be, he might be rested, but he be short of match fitness completely. He won't be able to play 90 minutes in a World Cup match if he only plays 25 minutes you know, every three days for Atletico Madrid. This is ridiculous. And he might start some games, but which means that if he plays once 90 minutes, he won't be able to play at all the next game. Or again, only 15 minutes. I, th I find this situation really, really laughable and ridiculous. You know who probably doesn't like this either? Barcelona. Because well, then yeah. Griezmann goes back the other way. That 40 million never materializes. I don't know what lever is going to push at that point. Or they agree to sell him to Atletico, which I think that's what Atletico want for but 20 or 15. Yeah, and then he has to, but he's got an enormous salary too. True. So then, you know, I, I don't it's, know. It's a situation that I've never seen before, unprecedented, that should never happen and be like this. I, but I feel for him. I don't you know, know who I blame. For them, but. And I believe this was before Laporta, right? The deal. Yeah. What a stupid deal to yeah. set it up this way. Yeah. I mean, not smart. Make no sense. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.